All right, before we get started here, I am doing a face reveal to absolutely fucking no one, because, you know. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, if you see me not looking at the camera, I'm probably reading off a script that I made myself because I can't think and speak at the same time. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so this video here is going to be a funny one. So funny that you'll probably lose your damn brain cells. Well, I don't know if I should call this funny or not because these are two legit brain dead kids that tried to do this experiment they saw in their science class i assume and this boy well let's just say that well rest in peace this kid his eyebrows probably disappeared or his i don't even know it did not end well to be in short but yeah in this video we got the two most badass most dedicated scientists in the world best scientists that they made a covid vaccine that can cure the world easily without being in the freezer a vaccine that that can cure any disease in the whole wide world perhaps it's like your potion of cure disease in any rpg game like no matter what disease you have these badass scientists will cure any disease that you have and can cure the future diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Ligma, uh, or, or like COVID-20 in the future. So these geniuses put, I don't even know what's inside the bathtub, but from what I read in the comment section, I, it's, um, it seems that it was a type of chemistry experience they did in class, but instead of the experiment being in the flask or, or Bunsen burner, they do it inside a bathtub with a lot of shit in the bathtub, which I assume is like a lot of axe spray. These kids are sure the future of our planet, and yeah, yeah, grab yourself an axe spray and some cologne because you'll be needing it because damn, you fucking smell bad. I'm going to talk to you with another video with Tyro and this is, do not try this at home, but um, we're allowed to because we're badasses. My dad is uh, As they're saying in the video, don't try what they're doing at home. Only they can do whatever they're doing, whatever they're doing, yeah. Because you know why? They're a bunch of certified badasses. They have that certification trophy hung up in their room or on their bedside table. Like one of those trophies, you those generic ass trophies that says number one. Yeah, don't mess with them. Like honestly, I have no idea why in the beginning like this guy was doing a hair flip in the beginning. Like, dude, chill out. Your hair's not even that long, bro. This is a bubble bath. Well, so you think. That's what you think. Wait till you see what it does. Okay, so this is good lie. <laughs> like this. Now watch the bath. Yeah, I'm cutting that part out right there. Oh god. But anyway, I have no idea what ran through their heads at the time. Like, Jesus Christ, it's like one of those things I've seen before. I think one time I saw a video of someone putting a firecracker in a toilet, and then all of a sudden their entire toilet just freaking explodes. Or like, this video I just found while stumbling onto this video as well, where this guy was trying to check for a gas leak with, with his lighter. Like, I understand that if, if you were suicidal, like, come on, man. Normally I'm not like squeamish or some word like that to stuff like that but it may just makes me cringe when I saw that part of the video I know kids are normally stupid but to go on this level like where are the kids parents and at the end of the video like once again I had to cut that part out because you could hear the agonizing pain of the kids eyebrows being burned like calling for his mom like yeah yeah not so badass are you now I right, so I went through the comments of the video at least probably like two days ago when I saw this video and I just I was hoping it was fake like the Raka Raka video where he puts a knife in the toaster fake. But by the looks of it, of the video, and along with the comment section as well, uh, there's no editing anywhere. And it's just crazy. Like, this is what social media does to our minds. I guess I have to say R because I'm part of humanity, sadly. But yeah. They'll do anything, um, but yeah, they'll do anything for clout, even if it kills them. They said that we were going to have flying cars in the future, like perhaps 2020. You know, but instead, you know what we got? Self-entitled Karens, stupid people that will do anything for clout, another pandemic, and well, I'm gonna repeat myself again. Stupid people in general. It's evolving, just backwards. Like, with social media being all popular, especially with the rise of TikTok, I simply lost faith in humanity. Like, us humans fucked up so bad that we might as well slither back into the ocean. But yeah, I guess that's all I have today, so yeah, peace.